Welcome back. Today, let's talk about terminal text editors. And the first one we're going to look at is Nano. <laughs> now, Nano started out as Pico, and it was a text editor for the Pine email program. Long, long time ago. Oh, before Linux. This is in the Unix days. And so I'm not entirely sure why Pico fell out of favor, but it's been replaced by Nano. You know, sometimes you'll see that there's a Pico command on a system, but it's just a symlink to Nano. Now you've seen me use this already. But it's worthwhile to just have a look at it by itself. So, if we just say nano, oh, make sure your terminal is active before you do that, then it opens up an editing area for you with no problems at all. Now, you can just start typing. I like that. Uh, uh, there are some text editors uh, where you have to give a file name. Me, but this is the proper way as far as I'm concerned. Just start typing. Okay, to get out of it, Control X. So, just to show you how independent this thing is, let's... Uh, keyboard key map let's switch the shortcut keys right so I've got opt in other words alt is my shortcut keys so and we're now going to switch it so that control is now the so when we get back to our terminal and and you'll see that here it still says you're supposed to press Control X to exit. Let's do that now and nothing happens because this thing here s switches your control keys at a very low level. Right? And so now Alt C, Alt X rather, sorry about that, here we go, it should get us out. Okay, let's just switch this back. So if you have switched your shortcuts to be more like Windows or Linux, keep this in mind. Okay, so the other thing of course we can do... Uh, what happened to my file there? Um. Ah, there it goes. <clears throat> I should be able to drag this onto the... So, I can... And as you can see, there's no wrapping here because this is an old school editor. Now, you might think that these shortcut keys are all that Nano can do. You'd be wrong. Look, there's Control G and there is actually quite a lot. There are also function keys, alternatives. Me, but so, uh, you know, on most modern keyboards, that means pressing another function uh, modifier and then the function keys. Those are not so useful these days. So you can see 
there's a lot more to nano than just all right control x to close back in our file uh, well why would you want to do that you've got styled edit you've got pe you've got so many great gui text editors well first of all uh, terminal text-based editor is always going to be faster you know it just flashes onto the screen and some of us from the old days are just used to working like this and if you're sitting there in the coffee shop on your laptop you know working in text-based programs uh, you come across as a real nerd and in that situation that's a good thing so apparently at some stage there was a big debate I must have missed that and um, over which text editor should be the default one for uh, haiku and of course all the uh, developers wanted VI or VI improved them for short now in the uber geek world there's this huge holy war that's been going on for the last 40 years between those who like VI and those who like Emacs and um, at some stage I suppose I'll have to take a look at them but Emacs is it's almost an operating system in its own right I mean you can run databases in Emacs you can uh, I, I don't know there's so so many plugins for it you know you can almost run your entire computer just with that program and its plugins VI is a little bit more true to its origin as a text editor I think and uh, both of them work with incredibly arcane and complicated uh, set of commands they have a command mode and an editing mode that you have to be able to switch between yeah and uh, the other thing is that a lot of other text-based programs very proudly use VI keystrokes so you have to at least be able to uh, get out of it yeah colon Q that'll get you out of a weird text-based program that doesn't uh, have any on-screen on uh, notifications of what the keystroke should be however Nano is not my favorite text editor my favorite text editor that's available on Haiku is NE the nice editor let's install it it works a little slow today and just a single package okay let's see what that does do the same thing All right now it looks like it gives you even less help than nano does but when you hit the escape key what do we have here a menu I love this thing All right and you can cut blocks and 
cut and paste and all those lovely things and it works with keystrokes you already know control C control V right. so if you really want to have an easy time in Haiku working with text files in terminal install NE it's a really nice editor pun intended And I'm going to close this by telling you that's not even my full-time favorite text editor. My full-time favorite text editor is not available on Haiku. And it is called Tilde. Now this is even more like a GUI text editor because that menu bar is on screen the whole time so you don't have to first press escape to get at the menu it's there and you want to go to the file menu alt f okay. so if somebody wants to do me a big favor port this one by the way, this thing is apparently very tricky to port because before you can even uh, compile this one, this guy has written about half a dozen custom libraries to make all this possible. And you have to port those first. You know, that's why even today there's not uh, a Mac OS version of this. But that is just the nicest, sorry, any nicest editor on the terminal that I've ever seen. It's, it's like uh, what we had back in the DOS days, right at the end of the DOS era. Okay, so that was my little nostalgic trip into text-based, uh, terminal-based text editors. And I know not many of you are actually going to uh, be converted, yeah, but give them a try. These things are handier than you might think.